welcome to week 10 of distance learning. I'm gonna run out of fingers for next week. We've got a lot of exciting things coming up next week. We've got Kimmy's birthday on Thursday. We've got Selena's birthday on Sunday. Excuse me. I'm, hi, yeah, I'm trying to film something right now. Yeah, do you think you could take this show elsewhere? Thank you. Sorry about that. <laughs> we also have, Miss Alicia, have you seen my shoes? Can I help you with that later? I'm just in the middle of something right now. Sorry about that. Like I was saying, it's Selena's birthday also on Sunday. Happy birthday, Kimmy and Selena. We also have a spirit day coming up on Friday and it's dress sporty or athletic. That means if you have a sport uniform or even if you wanna wear swimming goggles, anything goes. Looking forward to seeing your sporty selves. We also Miss Alicia, have... do you wanna play Candyland? I, I, no! Not right now! I'm filming something! Oh, goodness. Sorry. We also have pickup of your supplies at Maple Lane at the school gym Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday from 1 to 2.30. So that's where an adult in your family can show up to Maple Lane and pick up all of the work that you've done this year. Uh, your slippers, your boots, your spare clothes. I've packaged it all up and it's ready to go. We also have a special gift of a summer book I've made for you that's in there. It's a blank workbook where you can fill it with anything you want. It'll be pretty exciting. Miss Alicia, we're almost out of milk. I'm sorry, can I help you with that in a few minutes? I'm just in the middle of this. Oh, so sorry about all the interruptions. I wish I had a teacher who could teach all of them some lessons while I'm busy doing this, but I don't have any extra teachers around here. Wait a second, I do have teachers. I've got a whole bunch of mini teachers and some of you created lessons last week. Maybe I can keep Granny Alicia, Mr. Alicia, and little Jody busy with some of those lessons. <laughs> All right, I just finished watching Teacher Mia's video. I'm supposed to do a yoga gymnastics pose. Okay, well, let's uh, just start with the splits. Okay, teacher Daniela gave me my lesson, which is how to make a pinwheel. Now, teacher Daniela was very good at instructions, but I'm not a very good listener, so I'm just going to do what I want. Hello, Mr. Alicia and Peyton Manning here. I'm going to be following Lincoln's lesson on how to saw a stick to make a raft. But Peyton Manning is going to be following Elliot's lesson on how to make a cool thing out of Lego. Only problem is... I don't have a saw for my stick, so I'm going to use this hairbrush. And Peyton Manning doesn't have any Lego, but she does have these cat treats. You ready to build something out of cat treats? Okay, I'll put them right here, and you turn them into a boat, just like that video we watched with Mr. Elliot, okay? Here you go. And I'm going to start sawing. Okay, good. Now that they're busy, I can show you something I made. I followed teacher Jonathan's lesson on how to make a picture using shapes like squares, triangles, and circles. I even include a picture of me and my teacher, Mr. Jonathan. Coming up for your posting challenge this week is to fill out the core competency self-reflections. There are three for each of the core competencies. I'll show you how that might look with some of my family members. You know what would be really cool is if we decorated this after and made it look really funky cool. Am I there yet, Peyton? Uh, hey, you know what else would be neat is if we use this to measure the wind and see how fast it spins means it's a really windy day. supposed to look like this. Maybe I should have listened better to the directions. Am I there yet, Peyton? Okay, Peyton, let's see what you built. Peyton, did you just eat your cat treats? Oh, I'm going to have to help her again, but this time I'm not going to use cat treats. As for the stick, I don't think that the hairbrush was a very good replacement for a saw. I'll have to try again later. Peyton, come back here. Gonna help you learn how to build. I did it! I finally did it! <laughs> Can somebody help me out, please? So if 
Granny Alicia was filling out this communication core competency self-reflection, she might talk about how she was a really good listener following all of Mia's directions. Because she followed all of Mia's stretching tips, she was able to do the splits in the end. If Lil Jody was filling out this core competency self-reflection, she would talk about how creative thinking is one of her strengths. For example, when she made the pinwheel, she had some cool ideas about decorating it or using it to measure windy days. And if Mr. Alicia was filling out this core competency self-reflection, he might talk about how he was very helpful to Peyton Manning in helping her get all of her supplies sorted and ready to go. I can't wait to see your core competency self-reflection pieces. You can use words or pictures to add to your papers and then upload them to the ePortfolios on the post that says core competency self-reflection. If you can't remember the easy way I taught you last week using the lightning pencil, check out the week nine video and it'll teach you a fast way to upload. If you're having difficulties uploading to the ePortfolios, feel free to just email your three completed worksheets to me and I can upload them for you. As for you guys, you didn't even interrupt me once, so I think we should go celebrate with some ice cream. Yay! Yay! Where's Granny Alicia? I haven't seen her in a while. <laughs>